what we are going to make is we enter some value here click on this button and the value which is given here appears here this is all done by jquery so now let's do this my vamp is installed on d so create a new folder learn jquery and open this in your editor and create a new file and save it as index.php and this is basic HTML structure save that and open that in your browser so this is a page and create a new folder style sheets and in there create a new file and save it as style.css and we link that this way style sheets folder and style.css and for body this is a background reload and create a div and few styling for our div this require one image so we need to create an images folder new folder images and I'm pasting few files here and reload so here's one div create one more for our work area and this is one more div for our work area and paste some styles for that work area div too and reload so this is our work area and we'll do some stuff here but first of all we need to download the jquery so go to jquery.com slash download and click this link keep it shwin folder so just copy this and create a folder here javascripts and rename this to jquery only and create one more file our script.js so we need to include that on this page index.php so in the head section I'm pasting two lines here so this is basically including jquery.js and our script.js so open the script.js so this function runs when the document is ready that means when the contents of this page is ready then this function works so let's test that by alert and we say hello world I save that and reload so this is a basic alert method so now let's add a few things here so this is basically an input field and create some styling for that save it and reload so this is a field and just remove that alert method this is a button it has an id of action button so let's format that in css so i'm pasting few styling for our action button and reload so what we actually want that whatever we type here and then click on this button 
then the input which is being given in this field should appear here in a separate div. We'll give it some random value like hello world and we click on this button then the text which is given here should appear here in a separate div. So first of all let's create a div. So on our page let's create one more div and let's style that. So this is our div and few styling for that and this page is ready. So in our script.js I'm pasting few lines here. So this is an event, the click event and which is applied on action BDN which is our button. So that's saying whenever this button is clicked then the HTML value of the element which has the ID of my text which is our div should be equal to the value of my input's value. And what is my input? This is our text field. So let's try that. Reload and hello world and click. So the value which is given here appears here. So these are the very basics of jQuery.